Hi guys, so let's talk about whether or not contrast matters. So does the contrast of your features relative to your skin matter? So dark hair, light skin, uh, things like that for the colors that look good on you. So let's get into it. I'll give some celebrity examples and discuss what I think on the matter. So here we have Nicole Kidman and Kim Kardashian. They're both cool undertones, but one is a muted cool undertone and one is a bright cool undertone. So one has low chroma, so that's muted, and the other one has high chroma, so that is um, bright. So let's take a look at Kim Kardashian here against this winter color. So winter is cool and muted, and I think she looks great. Her skin looks even toned and um, it just looks very harmonious, it looks fine, uh, it really looks good. Uh, so then let's take a look at her against this blue color. So I think this is a little bit more jarring. Um, she does look good because she's a cool undertone, so she's going to look good against the blue color. She's not going to look her worst by any means, but I think it is slightly better against that cool muted color. Now, let's take a look at Nicole Kidman. So, again, Nicole Kidman looks great. Um, she's also a cool undertone. She's not going to look bad, but um, I don't think it's her best color, even though her contrast between her hair and her skin is so low, you would expect this would be her best color. But actually, if you take a look at her against this bright blue color, you can really see the difference. I mean, I think she looks so much better and there's just life in her face um, way more than than it was in that in that gray against that gray color. So now let's take a look at Kim Kardashian in these two colors and I would say that she looks fine in both yet again but I would say that the picture on the left of her looks a lot more harmonious than the picture on the right. So I think on the right, she looks like all I can really see is that blue dress. And on the left, I can really see um, Kim. So now let's take a look at Nicole. So Nicole, I think she looks good in both. Again, she's a cool undertone. She'll look fine in both. But I think she looks slightly more harmonious in that bright blue dress, which is really surprising because of, again, how pale she is and how low contrast her entire coloring is. But I think that her skin, the, her, the brightness of her skin itself is a good match for that blue dress and in the gray it looks like you can sort of see her her arm against that dress and it looks very um like it stands out a lot it doesn't look as harmonious because her skin is so bright so now let's compare how nicole looks in gray versus how kim looks in gray so you can see right away that nicole does look slightly separate from that gray color and she almost looks like it almost looks like that dress doesn't exist, very separate from her, but Kim looks really very harmonious and her skin looks amazing. And now we can see another example, so black. So black is a really good summer color, so if you are cool and, um, and bright, like Nicole, black is going to look really good on you and you can see that it looks great on her. And you can see that on Kim, it actually looks a bit more jarring, which is interesting because Kim is the one, Kim is really the one with the higher contrast um, features, so it's very interesting that it actually looks more jarring on Kim than it does on Nicole. So I think that what's happening with Nicole is that the black is a very powerful color, it's a very obviously dark color, but on the other hand, um, her skin is also very bright and very clear colored, so that skin that Nicole has can really stand up against the black and really be as intense as the black is versus Nicole's, or sorry, um, versus Kim's skin. Kim's skin is a bit more muted and therefore against that black, it looks very harsh on her. So here's an example of Kim again. So. I think that this really illustrates just how much better Kim looks in gray than she does in black. Again, the gray looks really harmonious, the black looks a bit harsh on her, but again, both colors look okay because they are colors that a cool undertone can still wear. Uh, 
Last but not least, let's take a look at Nicole and just how amazing she looks in this black dress versus how she looks in the gray dress. Again, in the black dress, she looks gorgeous. I think her skin, um, the color of her skin really um, pops in that in that black dress but in the gray dress it looks a bit separate from her so i guess the motto of the story is that if you are a summer it doesn't matter if you're pale it doesn't matter if you are a deeper skin tone if you're a summer you can always wear those bright colors or you can always wear black it doesn't matter if you're pale or if your hair is really really light so there you guys go, that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Also, any video requests for the future, please let me know. Um, and I think in the future, I'll also do a video on how a summer can achieve uh, the low contrast look correctly. So what should Nicole do? So yeah, thanks for watching.